In this video, I'll introduce to you uh, the SAS Pop uh, cluster. Remember, this is not uh, a video on cluster analysis. Uh, if you want to learn the theory of cluster analysis, this is definitely not a, 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 you know, a session on that. The theory of cluster analysis is uh, covered in a separate video in this channel. Um, so uh, I'll just introduce to you what all you can do using Prop Cluster. Well, this is a very powerful, uh, you know, data analysis uh, procedure in SAS. It can be used for uh, a number of purposes. You want to, uh, you know, uh, club or group a number of observation based on some criteria. You want to group variables, similar variables into one uh, cluster uh, or uh, you want to uh, you want to explore the similar variables, similar observations. You can use prop cluster. This is an exploratory data analysis technique as well, wherein you can drop variable based on uh, similarity and dissimilarity. Uh, to illustrate one of the example that I'll be taking uh, the iris data, uh, very popular iris data having uh, fatal length, sepal length. To illustrate this, I'll take uh, the uh, data set uh, from the SAS cell, the iris data. Um, <coughs> I'll use it uh, uh, for the cluster analysis. Uh, so the intention is to group uh, the flowers based on the uh, attributes, the petal length and sepal length and all of that. Um, so uh, we have got three species and uh, let's see if proc, proc cluster can group uh, these uh, you know these uh, flowers into three uh, different species or not so and how does it do it so uh, one of the method that we will be using it uh, you know method is ward uh, well we have 11 methods available in prop cluster so you can use any one of them refer this as manual for you know the specifics uh, when you run the prop cluster the syntax you can see on the screen um, some of them you may not need it, like CCC, pseudo, you, don't, you may not need it. At a very basic level, you just have to, uh, you know, uh, give the input variables. And then the copy, you, you need to give the uh, categories that you want to check in, uh, check. Uh, and, and, and the uh, output that you will get uh, is, will uh, be something like this. Um, okay, let me go to, so initially you will get the Egan values followed by uh, the different cluster histories, the iterations uh, and then the number of clusters to be selected uh, there are three ways one is pseudo uh, f uh, you know, triple c pseudo um, t square the three methods uh, we are using for coming up with how many clusters to be uh, selected uh, you know at uh, three we have a pick in two of the criteria and in the first one triple C you have also pick at five so uh, the conclusion is that we'll have three cluster uh, in total <coughs> then let's use the proc tree in order to uh, cross tabulate the output from the uh, proc cluster so if you run this proc tree and then uh, you know mention the number of uh, cluster that you want to see and the output and we will be printing that output uh, so we will see a cross tabulation uh, matrix like this wherein um, the uh, respective flowers have been grouped into different categories you will see in the first cluster you have only setosa so perfect classification no uh, you know misclassification happening cluster 2 we have 49 versicular but 15 virginica are there so this cluster is versicular cluster but there are 15 observations from virginica which is all uh, which are also present in this cluster so 15 misclassification the third cluster is virginica 35 observations are there but one versicular is there in third so in total there is uh, you know one here and 15 here so 16 misclassifications happening uh, of course, we can try out different methods. We can change it to some other method. We have used walled here. We can use some other uh, method and uh, see how many class uh, misclassifications are happening. So the one giving us the least misclassification should be uh, you know used for final analysis. So that's how it uh, you know 
um, that's how it, it, it gives you the you know classification of uh, classification of and if, 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 if it works well then you can use it for new data okay and see it in your training data if it works well then you can use it for your new data and uh, and and that that is very useful uh, one last thing that I'll show you is that if you want to uh, you know create some graphical plots I have taken this macro from uh, you know one of the example uh, wherein uh, you know we have already seen proc candex and proc AC. if you're not familiar with this just leave it here but yes you can use this uh, macro uh, you can see on the screen the quotes um, and then use the proc tree again to print uh, the uh, you know the canonical coefficient in a graphical form or the clusters in a graphical form just to see that and you'll get a graph like this where the cluster or the, the observations will be clustered in you know different colors and you can see some you know some sort of a separation between them but there is some misclassification happening like you know some of the reds are there within the uh, green ones and so on so uh, some misclassifications are also happening. So uh, that's about uh, proc cluster. It can be used for a variety of purposes um, for data reduction, for you know data classification, and so on.